something to say. On this show, they'll tell it to Groucho. Brought to you by Polydent Denture Cleanser, the soaking cleanser made especially to fight denture breath and keep dental plates clean. Polydent. And now here he is, Groucho Marx. Thank you, and welcome to Tell It to Groucho. And here is my assistant, Patty Harmon. Patty, come out here. I assume you have a crowd of eager candidates waiting out there, so let's get started. Who's first? Well, Mr. J. Allen Weber, Jr. is on deck, and That's here he comes to Tell It to Groucho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. J. Allen Weber, Jr., huh? Yes. What kind of work do you do? Well, if, I if suppose any. you might say that I'm a uh, starving manufacturer's representative at this point. Oh. Why are you starving? Are you on a diet? No, no. I, uh, actually, I'm, I'm establishing a new territory, and it's always a little tough at the beginning. Uh -huh. Well, if you're starving, why don't you try some other kind of work? Well, I like what I'm doing, Groucho. But you I said you're not doing anything. <laughs> Are you married, Al? No, I'm not, no, I don't, think so. don't you? You don't like girls, huh? Yes, I like girls very much. Why aren't you married? You're a tall, well, handsome, good-looking young fella. Well, you're very, you're very kind. No, I don't. Not. Uh, There's a very pretty girl in the right in the front row in the end there. I, I a fan. I would say is far too good for you, but I don't know her that well. well. Very well be. No. Uh, frankly, I run into a lot of girls and very few women. Uh, girls, I think, tend to migrate to the unimportant. And uh, I hope that one day I'll meet a woman who knows what's important in life and well, who won't you? look upon, shall we say, fetching the pipe and slippers, as it were, as an indication of her inferiority, but rather as an expression of her love. Is this your conception of modern marriage? Well, that a woman I, it might be a little idealistic, but a I woman brings the to pipe and slippers? <laughs> <laughs> I said How many of you good. married women out there ever fetch your husband's... Uh, <laughs> and slippers. Raise your hands. I would say that uh, most of the married men don't even have any slippers. They're lucky if they've got socks. Anyhow, you don't have to get married to get your pipe and slippers. You can get a cocker spaniel to do that. It's much cheaper, too. Well, is this your only uh, objection to the women? You find that they're immature? Well, I, I, well no, I, I wouldn't say that. I don't object to them, and I'm not setting myself apart because I know that uh, uh, we're not perfect either, but... Uh... Oh, come now. <laughs> Let's not go overboard. <laughs> well, now, we, I think we've settled your hash with women by this time. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just why are you up here, what do you want to tell me? Well, I wanted to tell you about the cadiddle hopper. Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, the uh, cadiddle hopper. The cadiddle hopper? Yes. Uh, the cadiddle hopper that I'm speaking of is a musical instrument, Groucho. Oh. Oh, I've enjoyed those. I like the cadiddle hopper. <laughs> How often have I sat home in the evening with my pipe and slippers <laughs> and listened to Beethoven's Ninth on the cadiddle hopper? <laughs> No, you're lucky to, you're likely to get sued by Red Skelton, you know. Uh, Clem Cadiddlehopper is his idea. As well, what, actually, what is a Cadiddlehopper? Well, uh, Cadiddlehopper is, is an old uh, Bavarian instrument. It originated in Bavaria uh, over 100 years ago. Could I see one of these things? Sure, I've got one backstage. Patty! How many you got back there? Rattle, rattle. Well, you got two of them there, huh? Yeah, I... I uh... Oh, one for you, Patty. I can teach you how to have fun on it in one minute, Groucho. Oh. All right, well, we step over here where we we're all doomed anyhow. Uh, away. Uh, now, what, what's the, the way this is played? Simply, uh, uh, Groucho, is to pound it up and down on the floor. That's your downbeat. That's where you make mashed potatoes. Eh? <laughs> now, uh, with the stick, of course, you get the tambourine, the cowbell, the wood block, and the cymbals. And to start playing it. Uh, you use a simple beat like um pa pa. Simple beat, you said. Simple beat. It's easiest to start out with um pa pa. That is. Try it.
certainly easier than the piano. <laughs> seven years to play Home Sweet Home on the piano. Now, is this a solo instrument? Could you play a solo on that? Oh, yes, you can play a solo on it, or you can play to any, uh, any type of music that you can imagine. Do you want the orchestra, such as uh, it is? If I could. You want them? Yes. Are you boys uh, up to this? Something, something bright. Something bright. <laughs> well, you better get another crowd. Awesome. I don't think I've ever enjoyed a concert as much as this one. That was the sweetest music this side of a boiler factory. No, it's very good. I like that thing. Now I know why you're not married, though. It really drives them away. Can you imagine playing that in the evening while she's bringing the pipe and slippers? Patty, take these two outside and bury them, huh? Now, you're a nice fella, and I like the way you play that thing. I really do. And I'm going to give you a chance to make some money. We're going to show three yes, pictures up here, and they'll flash for a quarter of a second. If you identify the first one, you win $500. Is that clear? Yes. And I'll explain it subsequently. Are you ready? Shoot. Who that? Janet, uh, rather uh, Blythe, isn't it? Uh, Blythe. Right, and Blythe. That's close enough. You had the first name wrong, but uh, well, I, I, uh, you I played that thing so loudly. <laughs> that we're going to give you the $500. Yeah. Now you can go ahead. If you win the next one, you'll have $1,000. But if you don't guess it, you go back to two fifty. Clear? Yes, sir. You want to go? Yes. Shoot. Oh. It's a bulldog. Or a boxer. Excuse boxer me. is right. Now you've got a... That is a boxer, yeah. <laughs> now you've got $1,000. Now you can go ahead for 1500 You can quit. And if you lose, you'll only have 500 I'll go ahead, Al. You want to go ahead? You're a man of great courage. I don't <laughs> I understand why you're not married. There's a beautiful girl in the front row who is looking, who is looking for a husband. Aren't you? Come up here. Come on, I <laughs> Just stand right next to him. Looks as though she's got one picked out. Uh, Are you going steady? No. Oh, then uh, this is uh, Mr. Weber. And you your know? name is? Vera Seacat. If he wins this time, we're going to give you $50 for coming up there. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> and in return, you have to give him a big kiss. Even if you don't think I'm cute. <laughs> right out here. Up here? Yeah. They don't have to give it to him yet. Eh? <laughs> This is if he wins. All right, get ready, set, go. Beverly oh, Stevenson. Now you got $1,500 and you won 50. Now give him a kiss. Hey, you pull that a kiss. Back in the audience. Oh, you want to go backstage with him? All right. She's pretty cute, isn't she? Well, you've got $1,500 and thanks for coming up. It was nice having you. Congratulations. Mr. Marks, Libby Wordesheim is ready to talk to you now. You're kidding. <laughs> I'm prepared for anything. Trot her out here. Okay. Let's have a look. Would you come in? Uh, Libby uh, Wordesheim, huh? That's a very poetic uh, name. What's your husband's name? Milton. Milton? Well, that's an interesting name, Milton. How long have you been married, Libby? Twenty-three years, Groucho. Could you describe Milton for me? Well, I can't exactly say he's chubby, but he is short. Well, could you try saying he's chubby? <laughs> no, but You might be able to make it. <laughs> try it. Say, Milton is chubby. Now, say <laughs> Milton is not chubby. <laughs> What's the difference between chubby and fat? About 50 pounds? <laughs> Is he, is he fat? No. He's just chubby? He's just short. How much is he 
sure. Oh, I don't know, Groucho. He has a mustache. He has a mustache? It's not as dark as yours. No? It's... Is, is it a baseball mustache, you know, nine on each side? No. Yeah, I used to get a big laugh in vaudeville, that's right. <laughs> you think they heard it? Yes, they heard it. <laughs> you two sound like a very happy couple, and do you ever have a uh, disagreement of any kind? Lizzie? Yes, the newspapers. He throws them out before I've read them, before I've finished them. Uh -huh. How long do you have them in the house? Oh, maybe two months. <laughs> you let you finish reading the newspapers? <laughs> Well, where are the newspapers? Do you have them on the floor? Yes, and he doesn't like them there. Well, do you have to read everything that's in the papers? Everything from the first to the end. How far behind would you say you are right now? Oh, maybe two months. <laughs> you know, you have enough papers to wrap up all the garbage in the neighborhood, including your husband, Milton. <laughs> Libby, if you spend all your time reading newspapers, who does the housework? It doesn't get done. I've got some ironing there since Christmas. You mean last Christmas or the previous year? Oh. What well, is it's an important ironing, but it should be ironed. You uh -huh. just can't put it away. Well, what is Milton wearing these days? Old newspapers? No, if he needs a shirt, I see that it gets ironed the uh -huh. night before. Now that we know that your husband is walking on, around without his underwear, <laughs> what is your excuse for using our people's network? Well, he works too hard, really. He, he works every day. He's just off on Sunday. It's hard to work, I guess, with that crinkly underwear. <laughs> and, he works um, every day? Yes, he works every day, Groucho. And he doesn't How get enough does time work? off, and he's tired every night. And I'm getting a little tired of it. You're tired of him being tired? Him. That's right. What do you want from me? What do you expect me to do about Milton? Well, if his boss is listening... Yeah. I would like him to give Milton some time off. <laughs> if he joins the electrical union in New York, he'll only have to work three hours a week. <laughs> now, I'm waiting for all the lights in the studio to go off. <laughs> Boys, I was only kidding. Can't you take a joke? Do you think it's necessary to involve 25 million people in your controversy? Libby, can't you just call up his boss and tell him what you think of him? Well, I have, Groucho, but he doesn't hear me. Well, try using the phone. I did. I did. Well, who is his boss? His brother. Oh, oh I see. Hey, listen, you brother-in-law, why don't you give Milton a break? So he can help Libby with her ironing. And then he can start wearing his underwear again. <laughs> Libby, in case Milton does get the bounce, you'd better win some money to tide you over, huh? We're going to show three pictures up here. They'll flash for a one-fourth of a second. Now, if you identify the first one, you win $500. Clear? I'll explain the rest as we go along. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Look at the baby. Let's have the first one. Shoot. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. It's not Bing Crosby, but somebody like him. <laughs> Well, it was Tony Martin. Oh. You should have known her because yeah. he's married to Sid Charisse. <laughs> We're going to put another picture up there for another $500. And if you guess this correctly, you'll again have $500. Ready? Yes. Go. Oh, Palace of Fine Arts? Or Palace of Legion? Uh, Legion of Honor? No. No. Jefferson Memorial. It was the Jefferson oh. Memorial. Now, we're going to put another picture up there for $500. Now, this is your last chance, so you better watch sharply now and carefully. You ready? Yes. Shoot. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know it. Well, uh, it was Harold... He ran for president or nomination once, uh, Harold Stassen. At least he was a candidate for the nomination, I think. Well, we, we don't want you to go away without anything. So we're going to put another picture up there, and if you guess it correctly, you'll have $50. All right, thanks. Are you ready? Yes. Shoot. <laughs> Sailboat? No, I'm sorry. It was Milton Bell. <laughs> no, you won $50. I'm sorry you didn't win Thank more. You, you were a very nice lady. It's been a lady. real pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Denture wearers ask, now that I have a dental plate, do I still clean with toothpaste? No. Now you should use the special denture cleanser, Polydent, every day. 
Only Polyden gets into crevices where bacteria and food particles collect to soak away odor-causing bacteria, soak away odor-causing food particles, even soak away film and stains. Use Polydent every day. Dentists recommend Polydent 9 to 1 over toothpaste. I'm a practical nurse and I love it, but I do work long hours, and that's why sleep is so important to me. I've got to fall asleep fast, stay asleep, and wake up alert without drug hangover. So I use Nitol tablets. Nitol contains a doctor's sleeping discovery, gets me to sleep fast, lets me sleep up to eight hours. I wake up relaxed, refreshed. You can trust Nitol. Taken as directed, it's safe, fast, effective. <laughs> Mr. Marks, you never dream who we have out there right now. How do you know what I dream? <laughs> Last night I dreamed of the tax collector. <laughs> and when I woke up this morning, he was sitting on the edge of my bed. <laughs> who is this dream boat you've got out there? Is it a dog? No, it's a famous recording and motion picture star. So would you come in, please, and tell us to Groucho Fabian. <laughs> Well, Frankie Avalon, how are you? <laughs> Patty, what do you think of this young squirt? <laughs> well, I think he's very nice. I mean, very good looking, and I love his records, and I love his acting in the movies and everything. Uh, maybe you better sit down back there, Patty, eh? okay. and compose yourself. <laughs> You're not married, are you, Faith? No, sir. Okay, you can come up again. Now, <laughs> now you better stay there for a minute. You like girls, don't you? Uh... Why, of course. There's nothing in the world like them. You've noticed that, huh? <laughs> well, what do you like about girls? Everything. That's true. Why do you take away a nice figure, a pretty hair, and a good, a good set of legs, and you know what you've got left? The girl I was out with last night. <laughs> Except she only had one leg. <laughs> Baby, you know, this is the People's Network. Do you have something special that you'd like to tell our listeners? Well, I'd like to, and, and thank you. There's only one thing I would like to mention right now is that I'm uh, going through a stage now where everyone mainly knows me as a singer. Uh, and are you ashamed of that? Of course not. I love it. That's why I got into the business, and I'd like to go on singing. Uh -huh. But uh, it's so hard to break into the acting field, and since I started two and a half year, years ago in the movies, I've uh, really grown to love the business. I would just like like to let the people know that I do enjoy it very much and that I am uh, studying and very serious about my acting. Well, I've seen you do a few things, both in pictures and TV, and, well, you didn't sing at all and just acted, and I thought you uh, had a lot of talent. Well, thank you. Are you working on a picture now? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am working for uh, Mr. Irwin Allen Who? on... Irwin Allen. Five Weeks in a Balloon for 20th Century Fox. You've been in a balloon for five weeks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should have hired me for that picture. I've been up in the air for 40 years. <laughs> what is the story about? Well, it's a Jules Verne book, uh, one of his first, I believe, written over 100 years ago. Well, I'd like to ask you some more questions about being a teenage idol, Fabian, but frankly, I'm at a loss. I don't know what the teenagers would like to hear. Patty, are you still there? Come out, yeah. Do something for me, Patty, will you? Yes, yeah, sir. Ask him some questions. You ask Fabian some questions. Go ahead. What would you like okay. to know about him? Well, um, oh, what kind of girls do you like to date? Like to date? She's getting right down to business, you know. <laughs> I'm fooling around. Well, any nice girl that I can have at the time with. Well, which do you prefer dating? Teenage girls or, um, or older old, girls in older 20? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like anyone that appeals to me. What's the oldest woman that ever tried to date you? I'll be honest now. Oh, I guess there was one, a couple about... 30. Well, there's about 34. Imagine that old. Could she walk? <laughs> no, we didn't go out. You know, uh, Fabian, you know, Patty has plans to be an actress, too. Couldn't you put in a good word for her with those producers you're with? Patty, show them how good you can act. Let's see you register anguish. Anguish? The way you looked when I gave you your first salary check. <laughs> I was very happy, but. I've never seen her so happy. I feel so silly. I don't know. I've been silly all day. I'll try one more, Patty. If you expect a job at the studio. I don't studio. think I passed it all. Now, let's see you register sublime ecstasy. 
Ecstasy. Happiness, is that what you... Is that... Yeah, but that looked more like indigestion. Could you give us a combination of indigestion and ecstasy? Fabian, help her out. Give us some reason to show sublime ecstasy. Kiss her, will you? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You call that a kiss? I wouldn't kiss a dog that way. And I've been out with many a dog in my life. Give her a real kiss, Fabian. A real kiss? Yeah, certainly. She's not unattractive. She's got beautiful eyes. Give her a regular kiss. Now, like you were going out on a date, and you were taking the girl home now, and you were just about to say good night. Good night? Yeah. Good night, Patty. It was very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She'll never go out with you again. <laughs> That's what you call your final kiss. Fabian, it's a turn on your lips. You're washed up. <laughs> well, Fabian, uh, this is silly. You could, Mr. Fabian, I'll call you, huh? No, I'm no, too just young for that. I want to wish you luck in your new career as a Thank serious you. actor. And uh, now, we're, what are we going to do about the game? Do you want to play it, or would you rather we get up some service man what out of the audience? Much. Yes. Huh? We can wake one of those guys up. Uh, is there a Cyrus man out there? Oh, he was up fast. Huh? Are you a real Cyrus man? Yes. This is Fabian. What is your name? What's your Aunt name? Aunt Laura. Aunt Laura? Ann. Aunt Laura. That's a... How are we going to win the next war? Hey, you must have another name. My middle name's Callahan. Callahan? Well, that's a good old Irish name. Huh? I'll settle for that. All right. Are you married? No, I'm You're not. I like the emphatic way in which you ask. <laughs> what are your plans uh, uh, when they let you loose, Mr. Callahan? And how long are you in I would for? like to go into acting. You'd like to go into acting? Is that why you hopped up here so fast? Do you sing? No. You want to go in show business and you can't sing? Well, I... You haven't. dance? No. Well, what qualifications do you have for the theater? Nothing. I still have... I'd like to... You want to be a stagehand? Uh, There's I'd... good money in that, you know. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be a success at anything you do. Because I can tell by the immediate instant where you leaped up here. <laughs> those other fellas, those other servicemen out there weren't even awake and you were up in the stage. <laughs> All right, let's play the game. You know how we're going to play it? You're going to play it together? You want to help him, Fabian? I'll try. Patty, have I'll you met try. Mr. Callahan? No, I haven't. Go over and shake hands with him. And come out fighting. <laughs> I tell you, one fellow that you don't have to worry about is Callahan. <laughs> Callahan's going to do all right. Now, we're going to show three pictures up here. They flash for a fourth of a second. If you identify the first one, You'll win five hundred dollars. Get on your mark. Get set. Go. Who there? You can talk it over, Fabe. You know? Huh? You don't know? Not the treacher. The only way I can forgive you is because I didn't know either. <laughs> I'm gonna put another picture up there for another five hundred. Uh, you'll win five hundred this time if you get it. Are you ready? Is it safe for me to say shoot with you standing there? <laughs> what would you do? Dive in a trench? Huh? All right, shoot. Niagara Falls. Yes. Is it? Yes. Uh-huh. Funny, I thought it was out to treat you. Huh? <laughs> now you've got $500. Now you can go ahead. You have a choice. You can either go for 1000 now if you win this one. But if you lose this, you wind up with 250 That's up to you. You can take the 500 and quit. You can go for a thousand, or you can wind up at two fifty. It's up to you. I think go. You want to go? Thousand. Spoken like a true American Marine. <laughs> no, this is the army. <laughs> no, but I was referring to the Marines. <laughs> Are you ready? Shoot. Oh, Walter Pigeon. Yeah. Walter Pigeon. Well, now you've got a thousand dollars. And Fabian. 
Baby, and I want to thank you. You were an enormous help to him. <laughs> I couldn't get out fast enough. No, you did very well. Thanks, and thanks for coming down here. And good luck with your new picture. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. I think you'll get a kick out of our show next week when we'll have an old friend of mine, Peter Laurie. See you then. Good night. Next week, when screen star Peter Laurie will tell it to Groucho.